The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. TFNN, welcome to July 23rd, wonderful Wednesday edition of today's opening bell on The Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, the daily newsletter service that is the intelligence for creating financial freedom. Hope everyone out there had a terrific Tuesday. Let's make sure that you and I, that we do all that we can do to have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll do all that I can during the next couple of hours as we take a look at a number of different technical tools, tactical tools to help us identify where the markets are going. We'll use A to B equals CD patterns. We'll use Fibonacci expansions and retracements. We'll also use those candlesticks, those Japanese candlesticks out there. We'll do it with a little sake, a little flare out there. Why? Because those are the... Those are the signs that the bulls and bears make for you and I in each trading session. So whether you're trading a 30-minute chart or a daily chart, you want to be paying attention to their signals out there. Now, welcome to all of our new listeners. And as I believe each of you now know, check-in time at the uh, Hotel California. Well, we've uh, made it an early check-in time. Now we open at 8 a.m. Our man John Logan, he kicks off a, a show called The Global Market Pulse. Great show if you haven't had a chance to uh, uh, check in. We're now 10, hours We're now 10 hours a day live with the programming out there. It's a, a call-in talk show. All of the shows are call-in talk shows. You can give us a call from anywhere in the U.S. The uh, call number is 877-927-6648. And for all of you eSignal 12 users, that are watching us by taking a little a little box in your uh, screen. Uh, we know welcome to welcome to TFN and welcome to the Hotel California. Now, I've got a newsletter service. It's called Mastering Probability. Why is it called Mastering Probability? Well, because uh, we'll take a look at technical tools or tactical tools. But really, in order to get our money to work harder for us than we do for it, we've got to have a strategy. In fact, that's really the way it is in life out there. You've got to have a, a strategy. If you're in uh, the sales business, make sure, you know, making calls each day, dialing for dollars, that's just a tactic. Make sure that you've got a, a strategy out there. In any event, let's go check out these markets out here. It is Wonderful Wednesday. This is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes, and welcome to the show. We've got the Dow futures. They're up about seven points right now, trading on at 17,040. S&P futures up three and a quarter, trading at 1978 and a quarter. NASDAQ up 13 points, trading at 39.64. Russell 2000 up five points, trading at 11.54. King dollar back a penny right now, trading out at $80.85. Uh, gold is flat, up 80 cents, no big deal there. Silver flat, down a penny. Light sweet crude is flat out here. Geez, Louise, everything is flat in the markets. Maybe we ought to not start and take a look at the general markets. Let's take a look at something that's not flat. Hey, I hope some of you out there are holders of Puma Biotechnology, PBYI out here. I had to, you know, shut my screen down a few times and because it closed last night at $59. If you're an owner of this equity, you woke up this morning and it's trading at $221. Yes, they have uh, gotten some positive results on the uh, breast cancer drug out here. Let's take a look at uh, Puma Biotechnology now. Were there any indications here that uh, this uh, that they were going to have a, a nice uh, move uh, to the upside? No, other than, and I think we took a look at this yesterday. Let me just go ahead. I'll just uh, t t let me turn a few tools off of the uh, chart here. Hopefully you're watching us on Tiger TV. If you're listening on the radio, your mobile device at tfnn.mob, I thanks so much for doing that. Remember, you can always catch the uh, live stream of the show by going to the homepage at tfnn.com. And after you signed up for Mastering Probabilities, then go to the upper right-hand side, click on the uh, button with three little smartphone devices. You can see this show streaming live. You'd be taking a look at uh, my uh, chart. This is uh, an e-signal uh, chart out here. And as price, uh, this uh, this equity here, wide price spread, accelerated volume, big wide price spread, big accelerated volume. Well, it's probably going to have that today, too. But this did this back on December 5th, 2013. Now, price never came back right into the breakout area. Uh, it did start to get inside that little gap out there. Of course, we always like to see price get back to a, a breakout area, but it was moving back with light volume. There were a couple of high-volume trading sessions to the downside that really would have suggested or would say, would communicate to us, hey, you might want to wait for this thing to get down and test the uh, low if you were looking to buy Puma Biotech. Not going to be able to do it today. That low being the 48.16 high from December 4th, where it actually broke out from, or could have been the uh, low of 45.94 of that session. If we draw a line across the chart out here, you'll see that price never got back to that 48-16 area. 
Nonetheless, uh, this thing today, as I say, trading out to what two hundred and twenty dollars out here. That is a uh, that's a huge move, a huge move out here. If we take a look at a, a weekly chart, just to see if this is completing any patterns, potential A to B equals C D patterns out here. You know, you'd have to say. Nah, I mean, if we take a look at it, this thing, it's going to, well, let's take a look at the A to B equals C D pattern. Let's take a look and use it as the uh, swing point low from uh, November 11, 2013. That'll be your A point, your B point, which is going to take out this morning. The high from January 20th, it's a weekly chart we're looking at. And the uh, C point being the low that was put in the week of June uh, 2nd out here. Your 1 to 1 A to B equals C D to the upside takes you to uh, 109. This is trading at 200 bucks. This is really off of the uh, charts out here. That is uh, Puma Biotech. Don't know. Don't don't suggest you chase this here because that's going to be one heck of a uh, gap out there. In any event, we also have a uh, Biogen B double I B. That's trading to the upside. Uh, I closed at 303. She's trading out to 327 out here. Out with numbers. Their numbers go like this: revenue of 2.4 billion versus 1.7 billion last year. So that's a nice uh, move. Net income. Wow, nice move here on net income as well: 714 million versus 490. You know, not a full 100% uh, increase, but PDG, pretty darn good for uh, Biogen. Let's take a look at it. So it's trading right now at 327. Looks like it's going to go tackle a, a swing point. Uh, that swing point high, it's a weekly chart, by the way. I'll put the daily on in a moment. The weekly swing point high is 358.89. Let's go see what it's going to do on a, a daily chart out here, see if there's any other swing point. Well, you know, Biogen, BIIB, had that sell-off here March 21st. Big volume to the downside for it. That was volume off of the highs, 5.7 million shares. The high there, again, is uh, 358. You're trading a bit of change. You're trading at 328 right now. We'll see if this can get some juice. It's going to be taking out a, uh, it's going to be taking out a swing point. Well, it's going to try to take out a swing point high here from uh, July the uh, 3rd. And that level was 332.93. 332.93. So it's not trading above that. If it can take that out, though, today, 332, that would set up an A to B equals CD to the upside out here. And it would also be the first time in a while that it has, uh, well, it's been, uh, I won't say that. Let's just take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern. Uh, if we take a look at the A point, it's going to be the low from April 15th. Your B point is going to be this high. We'll say it's that little doji candle on July 3rd. And the uh, C point, a little retracement down here into July 17th. 1 to 1 A to B equals CD says it makes its way back up to the highs out here where that downdraft uh, began. The bottom of that downdraft is 313. So clearing 332.93 today would be uh, would be uh, counter trend rally into a, a downdraft area for a Biogen, B double I B. Also move it to the the upside, we've got uh, Broadcom, uh, BRCM is a ticker symbol. They, too, let's see here, were they out with numbers? They were out with numbers. Uh, second quarter loss of $1 million versus $251 million. Hey, I call that turning the uh, corner out there. Revenues at $2.04 billion versus $2.09. Uh, that is a trading up uh, $40. It was trading at forty thirteen. dollars It closed at $38.75. We've got Apple to the upside. Uh, Apple closed at ninety four seventy two. A little bit all over the board yesterday. Let's go take a look at it. I mentioned yesterday that Apple was more inclined to suggest that Apple wanted to move higher no matter what the uh, no matter what the uh, results were now the results i think were were you know you have to really dive down into the uh, numbers but look apple's back up at its highs you know at $700 range it's trading right now at uh, 9522 multiply that times 7 and you're pretty darn close to uh, you're, you know you're $35 off the 700 area so it's back up towards its highs let's go take a look at what it's doing so 9525 we'll see whether it can hold these highs here what $97.10 not like there's any ton of volume out here so apple doesn't really have let me pull this back here apple doesn't really have much in the way of anything to to truly that we can see out here seller wise to really get in its uh, way of uh, moving higher now if it were to close today below 92.58 its most recent swing point which was from july 17th do with more than 57 million shares then all of a sudden you start to see a, a change in a trend that uh, could be taking place with inside of apple but at this stage here uh, the way i take a look at it i don't see any reason for apple to uh, sell off other than sellers deciding that it's time to uh, cash in again on apple uh, we also had Microsoft out with uh, numbers. Uh, they closed at 
83. They're trading at 45 bucks right now, 45 45 to be exact. If we take a look at what it is uh, doing, it's trying to take out its uh, most recent swing point at high 45.71 from just a few trading sessions ago on July 17th. Of course, that was moving higher with volume. You'll see an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside out here that it has completed the one to one. Uh, the retracement here was relatively shallow back on uh, May 7th. That says uh, no reason for it to not head up to the next floor inside of Microsoft. That would be $47 and 45 cents. This is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes, and welcome to the show, folks. It is Wonderful Wednesday. Let's make sure that uh, you and I, that we have an extraordinary day. We'll be right back. trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter market insights Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter market insights comes out every market day at around 9 30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market including the Dow Nasdaq and S&P plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Investors, Taz Market Research delivers to its subscribers expert commentary on the analysis of 15 different markets each day. Get this invaluable and timely information through the daily market research videos Taz Market Research produces each day before 9 a.m. The video analysis will include reports on currencies, interest rates, indices, metals, energies, grains, and more. You'll be able to gauge where high profitability setups are in each of the markets. Receive a free two-week trial subscription to Taz Market Research videos on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. With the launch of Tiger TV. 
WTFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Terrell Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Steve, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Traditionally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow futures up 15, S&P up four and a half, uh, Nasdaq up uh, 15 points right now, trading out at 39.65. Uh, uh, you know, not too bad of a day in the market yesterday. Uh, New York Stock Exchange was up uh, about a half a percent, up uh, 59 points. Uh, still didn't, uh, still wasn't able to get that price oscillator above zero. Did some damage. Uh, if you were listening to the show, it said 2,250 net advancing issues is what was needed yesterday. That was cut in half. So today, that means you need 1,120. Five net advancing issues that'll give the uh, ball back to the uh, bulls out here. Uh, uh, otherwise, it's still the uh, bears that have control of the New York Stock Exchange out there. Now, if we take a look at you know really what we're here for as traders, we're here to uh, pay attention to the trend, right? You want to be able to trade in the direction of the trend. If uh, something's trending higher, then what you like to do is buy some type of retracement. We like to take a look at uh, a retracement back to a support. That could be a breakout session. That could be a 0 0.618 retracement. But to try to uh, buy some type of uh, some type of retracement. You also have markets that uh, likewise, if the market's moving down, you want to sell on any type of counter trend uh, rally out there, right? right? What we also have is you've got uh, our role is to try to identify consolidations that are taking place inside of a uh, market. So, uh, you know, if we go take a look at uh, the uh, futures market here, let's go take a look at the uh, ES mini. And let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at not the 30 minute chart. Let me put this on a 120 minute time frame for us. So let's go take a look at that. Let me go ahead and clean this off just a uh, bit here. Let me clean my little palette. Uh, I guess I am an artist after all. You know that the kindergarten teacher that uh, that uh, truly little true story true story. It's hard to believe here, but uh, you know uh, well like uh, you know if you've been a parent, you know that you have te parent teacher conferences. And my uh, mom, I, she you know when she was alive, she used to love. To tell me the story about the parent-teacher conference that she had with Mrs. Springer. That was my kindergarten teacher. And Mrs. Springer was a bit concerned about my artistry of uh, drawing stick figures out there. I don't know. I was like, uh, you know, I wasn't uh, wasn't drawing uh, all the fingers or what have you. So I got the, I got the uh, you know, my mom kind of laughed at it, of course. And uh, in any event, uh, so from uh, stick figures to taking a look at candlesticks, I guess sticks are in my uh, in my past and in my future here. And we're going to use these uh, sticks. We're going to use these to help us identify consolidation patterns. Now, if we take a look at consolidation patterns, right now what I'm going to focus on is the highs out here. So if you're watching this on Tiger TV, what I'm doing is I'm taking us back into that July 3rd high, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a horizontal line across the S&P futures, 120-minute chart out there. You'll see that that number is 1978.25. You can see price right now is trading out 1979.75, so price is above that area. The consolidation low on this, I'll go ahead and uh, come back here to the time frame of about 12 noon on June 27th. Let me go ahead and draw that line across the uh, bottom of the uh, chart out here. And that, in essence, uh, is the uh, consolidation low. We could probably move that line up just a tad. Why, not? Why don't we just move it up just a tad, 1945 or so. That is our consolidation box. Now, I can't tell you what the, uh, what the uh, buyers and sellers are going to do today. What I can tell you is that if we do see a clear break, Yesterday was the first time that the uh, futures were really trying to chisel through the uh, the upper portion of this consolidation, 1978-25. During the uh, session out here, we saw a uh, move at uh, the, you know, between 10 and the noon, a uh, high of 1980-50. You're trading 1980 right now. I would have to say getting above 1980-50 uh, is an indication that the uh, – S&P, that the ES Mini may want to, in fact, break this consolidation. Now, it's a beautiful consolidation, by the way, because the low is right around that 1945 level. The high is at the 1978 level. If you take that uh, difference in dollars, you're going to have, what, uh, somewhere around 33 points or so. All you have to do is tack on 33 points to the high. 
1978, or subtract 33 points from the low out there to give you what we refer to as a measured move price objective out there. Can move higher. But that's kind of the minimum price objective of the market. So today, uh, a very important day for the uh, S&P, in my opinion. The S&P futures closing above 1978.25. Uh, that would be uh, somewhat bullish, closing above its market profile high of this 120-minute time frame chart of 1980.50. Even more so, we can see that uh, price got up to 1980 and a quarter just during, uh, during the few minutes that we've been on here. But you can see a nice consolidation pattern. Look, folks, if you see a break of this pattern here it, with conviction and you're short the S&P 500, that is the wrong message out there. Likewise, if you can't break to the upside, it does have the potential to go back and visit 1945. And how will we know if it does that? Well, you've got a pretty decent uh, trend out here, pretty decent rising uh, trend, and that would be one of the uh, indicators. But right now, focus on the potential of the breakout of the S&P 500. 877 This is Steve Rhodes. This is Tiger Financial News Network. We'll be right back, folks. Quiet Markets investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now's the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels, as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. 
Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. To the races. We got the guy up 24 points, straight out of 17089 SP, up about three, trade at 1986. NASDAQ composite up 13 at 4469. Russell 2000 up three points at 1159. Then NDX 100 up 14. Uh, New York Stock Exchange up uh, seven. Lead the charge. The upside it is uh, Puma Biotech. Of course, that'll lead the charge all day long, I imagine. Up 278% out there. I do hope some of you have uh, some, uh, some of Puma Biotech inside of your portfolio. That's a beautiful thing. Intuitive Surgical, up $48. It's up 12%. Uh, Biogen up by 12%, up 38 bucks out here. Uh, the IBB is up 2%, up uh, $4 and change. Robert Half International, up 7%. Uh, Thermo Fisher, up a couple of percent. Alexian Pharmaceuticals, up about, uh, about where did that go to? About a little over 1.5% uh, to the uh, upside out there. Uh, to the downside, Tupperware. Tupperware off 7%. Uh, let's see what Tupperware is uh, doing out here. TUP is the uh, ticker symbol. Tupperware brands uh, out with the uh, numbers. Their numbers go like this. Uh, $47 million in net income versus 76. Yikes. And uh, revenues uh, not that far, uh, you know, off from the prior quarter or second quarter. Net sales were 60, 674 million versus 688 out there. So uh, let's go take a look at uh, let's go take a look at Tupperware. Somebody forgot to seal one of the lids on it, and uh, now Tupperware is. Uh, I guess some of the food is going bad inside of uh, Tupperware. This stock here, it's headed towards its swing point low out here. This thing had some. Um, the, this this began. This equity began to break down. Take a look at. Uh, this here. Give me a, a moment to uh, do this. Let me just uh, edit this chart here. Let me just turn off that just for a moment. So if we take a look at uh, take a look at uh, Tupperware again, TUP is the ticker symbol. You can see where the equity began to uh, break down. Right here we had the uh, institutional selling that took place on the trading session of January 24th. Now if you go back to the prior day, that's really where your breakdown day is. That's really where your breakout day would be. You know, where did it actually break down from? And it made a nice counter trend rally, but huge key reversal session as it was doing that. That was the trading session of uh, April uh, 23rd out there. Uh, you can see price got right back to the level where it broke down from. And now it's uh, moving lower again. Conviction behind the move here so far today, 228,000 shares. The swing point that it's uh, targeting down here only has about 786,000 shares. And that's the swing from February 6th. That low is very important, 74.65 inside of Tupperware. The reason why I say that is because if you break below that, that sets up an A to B equals CD to the uh, downside out here. Let's go take a look at what that pattern would actually look actually look like. Your eight point up here at the highs, uh, December 20, 6, 2013. Your low is the swing point that it's uh, targeting. Your uh, C point is going to be that counter trend rally that we uh, saw out there. It gives you a one to one A to B equals CD to the downside price projection of about uh, sixty seven dollars and. Eight pennies. That's if it in fact breaks that B point of seventy four oh seventy four sixty five. That is on the uh, Tupperware. T U P is the uh, ticker symbol. Also, the downside out here. We've got the Xilinx. X L N X is the uh, ticker symbol. That's off fifteen percent this morning. That is a uh, second. See a second gap down here with some uh, pretty decent volume behind its move. So it's taking out a, a B point already. Of uh, its A and B equals C D to the downside. Let me just expand this out just a bit. This thing here had uh, some uh, pretty. Here, here's another equity. Take a look at uh, moving back to an original area where it broke out of. 
uh, broke down from is what I should say. Take a look at the trading session right here from April the 24th. That's out at the high of $49.60. That's where that uh, gap began, if you will, at forty nine sixty. Uh, 11 million shares of the downside. Price gets up on July 3rd to uh, 4950. 4950 versus 4960 does it with 2 million shares out there and uh, now it is breaking a swing point. It's got an A to B equals CD. It's probably already done the 1 to 1. Let's go uh, check it out. Your A point back here at the swing point high from March 25th, 2014. Your B point, uh, the B point of the swing that it broke this morning is actually May 16th. Then you have that uh, counter trend rally that's back up at that high on July the 3rd. No, it has not made the 1 to 1 A to B equals CD. That price projection gives you a 38.92 but more likely right around the 36 dollar mark out here let's put this on a weekly let's go see what's hanging out around a 36 dollar mark inside of uh, xilinx Ugh, that is a nasty looking uh, weekly chart right at uh, 36 uh, bucks what do we have anything with volume out here now nah, the only thing with volume that you've got this little base here Go takes you back to January 16, 2012, uh, 36.78. How about that? So it looks like that 36 area is likely where Xilinx is uh, going to uh, head to. XLNX is the uh, ticker symbol out there. Let's take a look at Intuitive Surgical. You got ISRG, Intuitive Surgical, uh, up 49 uh, bucks right now, up a nice uh, 12% out here. Uh, let me switch this back to the uh, daily time frame for us to go take a look at it. Boy, this thing is uh, gapping up, but this is what a psycho stock this is. It does it is taking out a swing point here with volume. That's the uh, B point, which was from uh, June 27. That high out there is priced out at uh, 426 43 If it can close above that uh, today, um, you know, small little A to B equals CD. The upside already 419,000 shares. So it's going to have the volume, uh, but it's running into, you know, it's running into, it's got this huge island reversal out here. If you take a look at Intuitive Surgical, I mean, I don't suggest getting back in on this thing. Look at this big island reversal that had formed the trading session of uh, April the 9th. So it says that Intuitive Surgical ought to run into some fairly stiff resistance right at about the 465 level. That's going to be the high from the trading session of April the 10th out there. So, uh, but it's, uh, you know, you've got to, uh, this stock is, like I say, there's there, the patterns in here. If you're going to look at, just take a look at the stock just as is. The pattern is it's got one of the most bearish patterns that is uh, out there. And so I certainly couldn't suggest going long this equity. But, uh, you know, it's, anyways, I, I would just go find something better to uh, trade out there. Um, that's, just, uh, that's just one guy's opinion. In any event, uh, let's go take a look at uh, what else do we have moving here in the uh, markets. We've got uh, Lithia Motors. LAD is the uh, ticker symbol. Lithium Motors right now trade out at $95 and uh, change 95.59. They're out with numbers. Earnings per share was about five bucks. Uh, net income 38.3 million versus 25 million from a, a year ago, and revenues 1.2 billion versus 1.3. Nonetheless, it's had a nice little sign of strength back here. This is on the trading session of uh, June the 16th. Right now, it's trying to take out a, a swing point. That swing point is from the trading session here of July the uh, 7th. That swing point high is 97.20. A volume out there of 292,000 shares so far. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, two no two hundred and yeah two hundred ninety two thousand shares. You're moving up to moving up into it already with one hundred twenty seven thousand shares. So looks like it wants to go ahead and take that out. L A D is the uh, ticker symbol. Let me put this on a, a weekly chart. Get a, a feel for what this may be doing on the uh, weekly time frame out here. Pretty strong looking stock. Now, if this thing ever does fall out of bed, its first area of support is going to be the highs from October twenty first. Uh, 2013. That's out at $74.94 uh, out there. It's trading right now at 93.50. Not saying that it's going to do that. Uh, I'm just saying that's the uh, first. Well, you've got this other area right here where it broke out on the weekly chart the week of uh, June 16th out there. And that low was at 82.40. The high is at uh, 81.05. So that's uh, that's another area of potential support. But otherwise, moving in uh, to the swing point with volume for the uh, week. Uh, it's only Wednesday. That uh, swing point has got 1.4 million shares a week. And on July 7th, you're already up into it with 958,000 shares. That's looking uh, pretty strong. That is on ticker symbol LAD. That's Lithia Motors, Inc. out there. Uh, let's see. What do we have here to the... Uh 
to the uh, upside down. So let's go take a look at the Dow. The Dow is uh, struggling this morning. Um, Boeing is off uh, about 2% out here. So let's go take a look and see what uh, Boeing is doing. Uh, we've got Boeing. Oh, come on. Don't get out. There we go. We've got uh, Boeing trading out of 127.31. Uh, they were out with uh, numbers as well. Their revenue was up 5% to $14.3 billion. Uh, let me see. Where is the... Uh, Revenue for the second quarter, $22 billion versus $21.82. And the uh, net income escapes my visual, my visual on my screen out here. Nonetheless, let's go take a look and see what uh, Boeing is doing. It's certainly been in the news quite a bit out here. Now, Boeing, uh, this is a, a weekly chart on my screen out here. So it's had some volume off of the top. Uh, that was the uh, weekend of January 27th. Let's go put this on a daily chart. Let's get a feel for what's going on in the daily chart here first. When we take a look at uh, when we take a look at uh, this here, so you can see this uh, gapping down with a little bit of volume back on the trading session of June the 11th out here. You know what Boeing needs to what you've got to watch on Boeing is trading into its uh, most recent swing point low. That takes us into the July 10th trading session, 3.9 million shares so far today. Uh, not looking good here for Boeing. 1.8 million shares down there. If Boeing cracks that level meaning closes below 125.12. That's the July 10th low. That'll set up an A to B equal CD to the uh, downside out there. Let's take a look at that. Your A point is going to be the swing point I from June 9th. Your B point is going to be that swing we just took a look at. It Not much of a retracement out here. You know, a little over 0.382 retracement. That would actually say 1 to 1, about uh, 117. Uh, 1 to 1.2728 to B equals C to the downside would take it to the 114 level. And that would be on uh, Boeing. Now let's pull this back a little bit, see what it would be moving into back here. Uh, at that, uh, well, what's the deal? Why don't I have more data on this? Uh, let me let me go get more data. It's pretty simple. Let's do this with, uh, let's take a look at the last year out here. Okay, so now let's go see what would it be trading into. So, yeah, it's got a swing point low down here, a little hammer candle, actually, on its daily chart back on October the 9th. Uh, no real volume or anything down there to uh, speak of. Uh, let me put this on a, a weekly chart here. Now let's go back to the weekly chart for Boeing. Uh, give me a moment here to uh, manage this. Okay, great. Uh, if we take a look at the uh, weekly chart, here's where that volume is. Uh, down on the uh, weekend in September 16, 2013. The low out there, 113.26. Uh, so we'll have to watch uh, watch and see how Boeing trades here for the next uh, couple of hours. To the downside as well, as I said, let's go take a look at the uh, Dow. So let's go see what's going on inside the uh, futures contract. Let's go take a look at its market uh, profiles out here as we take a look at the uh, Dow, see what they're doing. Now, the market profile out here for the uh, Dow, you know, and this is a daily chart we're looking at, a, a new little resistance area. So the pull back here this morning you know not not uh, such a, a huge deal as we speak 17085 is the area that it needs to uh, clear in order to uh, get back into its uh, bullish mode otherwise this thing is just consolidating up at its highs out here it's real level of support right around the uh, most recent swing point on the daily chart that takes us into july the uh, 10th out here and if it can uh, maintain the uh, low of 16 and 722, it just becomes a little bit of a retracement, a little bit of a uh, pullback in the uh, market. So on the daily time frame, not that big of a deal. Let's switch over to some four. Let's go take a look at the four time frames out here. So let me do that. Let me change uh, over to take a look at the uh, Dow futures. Let me do this here. Give me a moment to... Uh, make this one change, and then we'll take a look at uh, different time frames. So we looked at the uh, daily out there inside of the Dow. Let's take a look at the 120-minute chart out here. 120-minute time frame uh, says, okay, uh, it's broken through a market profile low, but we're, we still have time left in the trading session. That doesn't end for another 13 minutes, but it does look like it's broken through that area. That says uh, we ought to find support down here at the uh, trading session from July 21st. We'll see that the uh, trend here, if I just take a very short-term trend line, we'll take that off of the actual uh, candle low out here. Uh, we'll see that prices right now at this stage just come back to the uh, – oh, geez, please. There we go. We'll see that price actually at this stage here has just come back to a, a trend line. So this is 120 minute time frame. All we've done, folks, is we've used the uh, bottom of the candle that uh, was in at the uh, 20 hundred hours so uh, at 18 at 6 at the uh, 8 o'clock uh, time frame and that was on uh, July 17th. We we've, we've used that as our touch point. We've used this hammer candle low out here. 
trading session from July 21st. That low at 16908 So that is, you can see, prices just moved right back into that uh, trend line. The break of that trend line, okay, short-term trend line says real key level of support becomes the old hammer candle, and that's the uh, July 21st level. Breaking through 16974 that would uh, be a uh, problem. Uh, but the 120-minute time frame, all it's done is come back to a logical area of rising trend uh, support out there. That is inside of the uh, Dow on that uh, time frame. Uh, we'd see the same thing really take place on uh, multiple time frames out there. So that's what's going on there. Let's go take a look at the NQ. Uh, that is not being hammered as much as the, uh, although on the NQ, let's do this. Let's take a look at one of Stevie's charts out here. Let's do this. Let's take a look at a uh, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator system, a strategy out here. What we'll see on a 30-minute chart is we will see a, a price relative strength divergent pattern that is trying to appear out here. We'll see that uh, if you take us back into the time frame here of 1030 on July 22nd, you'll see that the NQ was making a high out there of 39.59.50. It made a higher high as we came into the 8 a.m. session and a little bit of a shooting star candle out there. But the trend is still, this trend is still very, very, very strong. 877-927-6648. This is Steve Rhodes. This is Tiger Financial News Network. We'll be right back, folks. take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFNN.com. Eastern legend tells of a fair maiden who was offered a rare gift by the king of the land, a bag of pearls. The king promised that she could keep the largest, most perfect pearl she could find with these three conditions. One, choose only one pearl. Two, remove one pearl at a time, accept or reject it. And three, if rejected, it would be lost forever. She began by looking at the pearls passing on many special treasures. She delved deeper into the bag and soon the pearls replaced with pebbles. Sadly, she went home empty-handed. Folks, replace pearls with time because we cannot go back even two seconds. We live in the eternal moment of now. So when now are you going to take advantage of my offer to you, a subscription to my daily investment newsletter service, Mastering Probability, where you can experience the most incredible pearls for trading and investing, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator and Strategy. The offer? It gets better. A 30-day money-back guarantee. Don't go home empty-handed. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. 
While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow is off 27. S&P is uh, up one. Uh, NASDAQ composite up uh, 13. Uh, Russell 2000 up a couple of points out there. Let's check in on the uh, New York uh, Stock Exchange out here. Let me uh, go uh, hit, uh, well, let's just do this. Let's pull this uh, chart over here. Take a look at the uh, New York Stock Exchange. Um, the oscillator still below the uh, zero line. It says the uh, bears still have control of the NYSE. But, you know, let's, let's, let's face it, folks. Uh, right now, you got the New York Stock Exchange trading out 11.020. The uh, all-time high out here right now is at 11.105. 11.105? No. Yeah. You're, you're talking about, I mean, there's been no damage that has really been done to the New York Stock Exchange, which is the overall market breadth. And it is the uh, and really is the weakest. Well, you got the Russell 2000 as well as the uh, New York Stock Exchange, where the bears truly have uh, control of the market. And they've just basically done nada, zip. In fact, let's go take a look at the uh, futures contract here for the Russell 2000. Get a feel for what it is uh, doing. We'll look at the uh, four different time frames as well here. Now, there's going to be just a little, little 10 minute delay out there, so not a big deal. But as we take a look at it, uh, we'll see on the, you'll start off with the uh, daily chart out here. And the daily chart is one that we want to just uh, focus on. That is, uh, you know, so far, just a counter trend rally. Uh, after making a, uh, a leg down, a 0.618 retracement. That 0.618 retracement, by the way, that's off of the lows out here. Let me get rid of the A to B equals CD pattern for the moment. We'll take a look at that retracement level. That's a retracement off of the April 5th or May 15th low up to the high that was put in here back on uh, July the uh, 1st. You'll see, that, I mean, hit it right to the T. 1126.34 is the actual uh, number. Uh, for the uh, uh, for the uh, Russell 2000 out here, so it's made that. That's why that A to B equals C D pattern was in there. It's a potential that what the uh, Russell is doing had just formed a C point of an A to B equals C D to the downside. How will we know if that is the uh, case out here? Well, the uh, as I say, still just a counter trend rally. One because of volume. Two because it hasn't broken through any kind of market uh, profile. It's just been that which has been acting as resistance. That's the uh, level of 1166.55. A close above that starts to make you say, hmm, something to think about. Uh, the moving averages are in a bearish uh, mode out here, but you do have the uh, bulls that are defending their territory at that 618 retracement level. A little nice big bull sash candle uh, on the uh, bullish engulfing candle, I should say, on July 18th out here. So uh, they are defending their territory, but 1166.55, that really becomes a number to pay attention to. So we had the New York Stock Exchange, no real damage out there with the bears having control of the market for the better part of, I don't know, uh, since today's, what, the 23rd, since July 7th, I think it was, July 7th, July 8th, or what have you. So no real damage there. And inside the Russell 2000, nothing more than just a, a normal retracement, um, you know, after, after failing to break through its consolidation. So if we speak about consolidation patterns out here, on a uh, daily chart, if we take a look at the Russell 2000, in order to break its consolidation high, it needs to close above the uh, high from uh, March 7th. That's out at 1188.50. Uh, Breaking above that, that will you'll then know that you've got an A to B equals CD to the upside out there. So uh, right now the uh, Dow is, uh, what, off uh, 29 points. So we've got weakness inside of the uh, Dow. Uh, flattish type market inside the S and P right now. It's traded 1984. Uh, futures out at 1978.50. Remember the 1980 number is a, a key number. If you see the uh, futures start closing above that, 
with any kind of conviction, uh, you're looking at about a, uh, what, about a 33-point uh, move uh, to the uh, upside out there. So, folks, it is wonderful Wednesday. Thanks so much for joining us here at Tiger Financial News Network at TFNN.com. Uh, if you're off to start your day, have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you bright and early. Otherwise, stay tuned. The Money Masters show will be up in just about 8, 9, 10 minutes. Take care, folks. White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. You're watching Tiger TV.